pastoral statement consecrating the Archdiocese to the Blessed Virgin Mary. My dear people of God in the Archdiocese of Manila, we have started the Enhanced Community Quarantine ECQ last March 15. Now the month of May is upon us. We never thought then that the quarantine would be so long. We have accepted the lockdown for the sake of the common good, though by now it is taking its toll on us. There is restlessness and even fear, mostly because of its economic effects. Many people are unsure of their future. It is in this situation that we need to be strong with the strength that comes from above. St. Paul wrote in his second letter to the Corinthians, When I am weak, then I am strong. This strength no longer comes from him. As we enter the month of May, what comes to our mind is the Blessed Virgin Mary. May is the month of Mama Mary. We have many fiestas of Our Lady on this month. We have the Flores de Mayo celebrations. We will all miss these this year. Nevertheless, let us keep the month of May as a Marian month. During this month, let us intensify the devotion to our Blessed Mother in our homes. We can decorate the altar of Mama Mary. We can daily pray the rosary as a family. We may not be able to offer flowers, but we can daily offer some small good deed to our mother. As we try to do this individually in our homes, let us also do something together as an archdiocese. The main patron of our archdiocese is the Immaculate Conception. We are a Marian local church. On May 13, which is the 103rd anniversary of the apparition of Our Lady of Fatima, at 12 noon, we will have a Holy Mass in the Manila Cathedral, during which we will consecrate the whole Archdiocese of Manila to the Blessed Virgin. The prayer of consecration will be done by all the faithful of the Archdiocese to be led by the mayors of the five cities that comprise the Archdiocese, Manila, Mandaluyong, Pasay, Makati, and San Juan. It will be beautiful when all the people of God, led by their civil and religious leaders, put themselves under the protection of the Blessed Virgin. In order that this act of consecration be meaningful, from the first day of May, there will be a series of catechetical instructions online explaining the meaning and implications of such consecration. Then from May 10, we will start a triduum, three days of daily penance and rosary, which will culminate on the common act of consecration on the 13th. We do this to implore the protection of the powerful intercession of the Blessed Mother in this difficult time, especially as we move to the transition to a new way of life after the quarantine. We need strength from above, and we have a powerful intercessor in Mama Mary to get that heavenly help. Already I thank the honorable mayors of our cities, Mayor Francisco Isco Dumagoso, Mayor Carmelita Abalos, Mayor Abigail Binay, Mayor Emilda Calixto Rubiano, and Mayor Francisco Zamora for showing their willingness to join us in the Holy Eucharist to pray together in filial devotion to the Blessed Mother. We thank them for their gigantic effort to serve their constituents in this difficult time. Yours sincerely in Christ, Roderick Pabilio, Apostolic Administrator of Manila, April 28, 
2020